fie, unknit that threatening unkind brow, and dart not scornful glances from those eyes, to wound thy lord, thy king, thy governor. It blots thy beauty as frosts do bite the meads, and in no sense is meet or amiable. A woman moved is like a fountain troubled, and while it is so, none so dry or thirsty will dine to sip or touch a drop of it. Thy husband is thy lord, thy life, thy keeper, and craves no other tribute at thy hands but love, fair looks, and true obedience. Too little payment for so great a debt. Such duty as the subject owes the prince, every such woman oweth to her husband. And when she is froward, peevish, sullen, sour, and not obedient to his honest will, what is she but a foul, contending rebel? I am ashamed that women are so simple. Come, come, you froward and unable worms. My mind hath been too big, as big as one of yours, to band you word for word and frown for frown. Then veil your stomachs, for it is no boot, and place your hands beneath your husband's foot. In token of which duty, if you please, my hand is ready. May it do him ease. <laughs>